Today, for the first time ever, we have focused on showing you games that you can play over the next 12 months. Today's show celebrates a diverse lineup of global game creators of all sizes who bring with them unlimited potential. In a world of persistent, consistent disappointment and self-sabotage, get ready for the year 2023, only on Xbox. Play with Game Pass. Welcome back to another Foxy Games UK News video. In today's video, where to start, ladies and gentlemen, Xbox has done it again. Over promises and under delivers. I mean, you gotta stop and look in awe at Microsoft's world leading incompetence in the gaming space right now. Xbox Series and PC exclusive Redfall is being totally ripped apart by just about everybody. I think finally, this is the last straw for the Xbox community. The straw that is Redfall has broken the camel's back. Now, if you're new around here, and if you like what I do, of course you do. Let's be honest, it can't be worse than the Redfall gameplay since Foxy Games UK channel content is always uploaded in 60 FPS performance mode with reconstructed by YouTube 4K. You'd expect no less from current gen hardware, right? Right. Go ahead, like, subscribe, hit the notification, follow Foxy Games UK via Twitter at Foxy Games underscore UK for more informative gaming news for gamers from gamers. Now look, I should preface this with, I've enjoyed several games in quality mode, 30 FPS, 40 FPS with VRR enabled, but only games with good, I mean very good, ray tracing implementation, and only if it has a third person perspective mode. Some good quality mode titles I would add to the list would be Grand Theft Auto 5 given that recent update. Of course Guardians of the Galaxy, Forza Horizon 5, uh, Resident Evil Village, all of the RE remakes, uh, Spider-Man, Control, there are a few others. Now these games are acceptable in quality mode because they have added benefit of ray tracing done properly and usually the motion blur is such high quality that it doesn't feel like that jaddery type of 30 FPS. So, in, you know, and it's third person, so it's more manageable. It's not first person shooters, which would be difficult for me. Now, Redfall's issue isn't actually that it's 30 FPS. Redfall's issue is that it is only 30 FPS. Yeah, there's a promise of a 60 FPS patch later down the Redfall road, later down the Redfall road. Hmm, perhaps uh, Nas X should release this as a follow-up to Old Town Road, perhaps. But by the time a 60 FPS Redfall patch is deployed, the world would have moved on. Nobody will give a damn, believe me. And who is creating fast action, first person shooters with co-op at 30 FPS in 2023? Again, another Xbox exclusive. I think the FTC and CMA should look at Microsoft's monopoly on failure. Xbox just cannot facilitate or manage game studios effectively or efficiently. Everything it touches seems to just wither away, with exception to Turn 10 and, yeah, the Coalition, which at least pumps out quality worthy of Microsoft's own brag line, Xbox Series X, the most powerful console in the world. Maybe it was a good thing Redfall was cancelled on PlayStation 5 if this is what we would have had to have expected. But I doubt they would have gone away with this if this was a Sony exclusive deal with, you know, Arcane for Redfall. Sony would have none of that 30 FPS nonsense. It's sad that after all this time, Forza Horizon 5, a open world racer, is still the Xbox Series X console's most polished, most accomplished, most highest quality first party game released since Xbox Series X launched more than two years ago. And Forza Horizon 5 is actually an Xbox One cross-gen title. I think it's time to accept, time to accept, in spite of the value proposition, Game Pass has been more failure than success when it comes to scheduling, release dates, budgets, and quality of Xbox games, which has, I have to say, diminished from the Xbox, Xbox 360, and Xbox One era. 
Microsoft has the most quote unquote powerful console and more money than many African countries and yet it still cannot deliver. Sony PlayStation boss Jim Ryan was absolutely bang on the money. Xbox cannot be trusted with Call of Duty if it cannot even manage its own first party studios that it has now. Xbox Game Studios, Halo Infinite, Fail, Redfall, we don't know yet, but it's not looking good. Starfield, delay after delay. Will that be 30 FPS? How's Starfield gonna pan out if they can't get Redfall to run at 30 FPS at launch? And let's not forget the not very definitive Ghostwire Tokyo, which already released on PS5 and doesn't really offer any other benefit over that platform's version. In fact, it runs worse. And of course, there's no thoughts on Motorsport date, none whatsoever. I think Microsoft should change its name to Misstep Microsoft Incorporated. Xbox Game Studios has had, really they've had so many fails and they've all been own goals since the head of Xbox Game Studios, Matt Booty, took leadership. Things were never, and I mean never this bad, under Don Matrix. Say what you want about Don. So, you know, and again, all the bragging and boasting about Xbox Series and its power, I'd like to I'd like for somebody knowledgeable on the matter, a knowledgeable individual or individuals, if they could care to explain in the comments the benefits of fully featured RDNA 2 console over, say, the PS5's RDNA 2 based architecture. And I don't hear about PC and it makes ports easier because that, that's not what was used in the whole bragging of PlayStation 5 doesn't even have full RDNA 2. How has it helped Xbox Series X? And S, that's what I'd like to know. Is it like the power of the cloud circa Xbox 2013? Is it like DX12 massively improving performance on Xbox One circa 2014? Is it? Now, I doubt the issue, in fairness, is Series X. Microsoft has a pretty difficult for nothing Xbox Series X to Xbox Series S parity clause. Obviously, a 12 T flop Xbox Series X can run Redfall at 60 FPS. So I think the issue is Xbox Series S. Dun, dun, dun. Xbox probably delayed performance mode on both until Xbox Series S is optimized as there's a lot more Xbox Series S consoles knocking about than there are Xbox Series X. In fact, the production of Xbox Series X has lowered to the point where it's becoming difficult to get one without buying bundles. Now, Xbox, I believe the Series S Xbox Series S is definitely holding back the Series X, no question. As if the delays, the always online single player, the dodgy PC previews, the disastrous IGN footage and the 30 FPS only at launch wasn't bad enough. Redfall releases slap bang between Star Wars Jedi Survivor and Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And then there's Final Fantasy 16 following in June. So when that 60 FPS patch drops, nobody will give a damn. It seems like Redfall is DOA, dead on arrival. Xbox Series X is more capable than PS5 on paper, but PS5 seems more capable than Xbox Series X in reality. And I believe the best exclusive Xbox has right now is Sarah Bond. No cap. Though what say you? Let's continue the discussion cordially in the comments as that brings us to the end of the video. Just like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment regularly on videos, and you can help Foxy Games UK reach more gamers, so feel free to share the video. You may also wish to consider supporting Foxy Games UK via Patreon, because well, we're like family now. Link in the description. But that concludes our time together on this Friday. Until next time, play games, not corporations.